a pleasant day, STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. For this video lesson, we will talk about the scatter plot diagram. So at the end of this video lesson, we should be able to draw a scatter plot diagram, interpret the shape, the trend, and variation based on the scatter plot diagram, and estimate the strength of correlation between the variable space on the scatter plot. So the scatter plot diagram looks like this one. It is a point of all scores taken from the bivariate data. So the independent variable is plotted on the x-axis and the dependent variable is on the y-axis. So there are two possible descriptions that we could see in the scatter plot diagram. The first one is what we call the direction. So the direction is determined by the slope of the trend line. The trend line is the line drawn closest to the points. For the strength, so the strength is indicated by the closeness of the points to the trend line. So the closer the points are to the trend line, the stronger the relationship is. So observe the different examples of scatter plot in this figure. The first one, look at the trend line that I have drawn. And this, is, this means a very high positive correlation. So the direction is described by the word positive. And the strength is described by the word very high. Look at the next example. So I draw the trend line nearest to these points. So this is considered moderately high positive correlation. So again, the direction is positive and the strength is moderately high. Third, there is zero correlation. So notice that we cannot draw a trend line here because we can neither draw a trend line going there or going here. So there is zero correlation. Next, look at that line. Okay, so this is a very low negative correlation. Look at the direction of a negative correlation. It leans to the left. So the direction is negative and the strength is very low. Next is a very high negative correlation. So the direction is negative and the strength is very high. And notice this one. This is what we call a perfect positive correlation. So when you want to draw a perfect negative correlation, then all the points must lie on this trend line. Okay, this trend line. So I hope that based from this illustration, you were able to describe their strengths and directions based on how you see it on the scatter plot diagram. So let's have example number one. Construct the scatter plot of the given bivariate data. So the two bivariate data are the age and the weight of each child. So we want to assume that the higher the age of a child, then the higher the weight. So look at the um, x-axis, we have age, and for the y-axis, we have the weight. And when we plot it on the plane, then this is how the points would look like. So you can now draw the trend line close to the points. And we could say that there is very high positive correlation. So thus, there is a very high positive correlation between age and weight of a child. So a lower age corresponds to a lower weight. And a higher age corresponds to a higher weight. So 
So that is our discussion about the scatter plot diagram. So on the next lesson, we will talk about how to compute for Pearson R, which is also one way to describe correlation. Again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.